hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe in today's video i'm going to be talking about heat transfer vinyl and how i you know transfer heat transfer vinyl decals onto like outfits so you can do this for robes onesies t-shirts anything that's like an outfit you know and will take heat and i'm going to be personalizing some onesies today for my friends who have babies on the way and i just decided it was a nice good gift to give and also again like i said this for me is a business so i do have a business where i personalize onesies robes t-shirts and if you're looking for an extra source of income definitely consider this we're gonna be checking out the brand called htv runs they are amazing and i love their products all right guys before we get into the video if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe already and just a couple of housekeeping notes we do have a skate making workshop coming up on the 5th and 12th of august in london and the price is 65 pounds payment details will be found in the description box so click on the link to make payment and again remember that we have less than 20 slots um to go because i've given up to i'm giving out two slots to the winner of the giveaway if you don't know what i'm talking about in regards to the giveaway check out the last video i'm gonna put a link in the icons above and in the description box where i talked about the giveaway and what you need to do to be eligible or to participate in the giveaway again if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the awesome content that i have for you all right guys i'll see you in a bit all right guys as you guys already know i would not recommend anything that i haven't personally used or bought with my money to you guys so again this particular one this hit press mini by htv runs i purchased with my money and i purchased it a while ago i love using it especially when i'm working with things for babies it's really small and portable you can take it around and obviously it has this lovely protective bag that i like and i don't know if you guys can see but i kind of personalize the bag as well because i'm like why not so i really like their products i've used it i've bought it with my Money, i've tested it so obviously if i'm recommending it to you guys you guys can definitely take my word so they sent me this heat press and it's by htv run as well and in case you guys don't know they're like pretty popular brand actually and they're literally giving cricut a run for their money because they have really good products really durable at a very low at, at a much lower price point so why not like i'd rather buy their products because it's like much lower than you know any other thing and again i'm going to have some links in the description box so if you're interested in buying their products check out the links in the description box as well um yeah so basically when you open the box it has you know just the instruction book it's really easy to use the instructions are very detailed so you can just flip through that and it's also got like different colors that they have so for my mini quick cut you guys already saw that i had the red one but also it comes in like an orange and a mint green and then for the mega or for the heat press the 10 by 10 one which is this one i'm unboxing it comes in mint green and red so i think i got sent the mint green one um but then let's take it out of the box and let's see what it looks like so uh, again this is the first time i'm taking it out of the box so you know we're literally just gonna be getting like a reaction video so obviously out of the box i was actually impressed that this one also came with a bag again like i said i really like the protective bag so it's nice that this came with a bag as well so taking it out of the bag let's see what it looks like it has the plug and it's uk plug so again i don't know if it's going to differ if you're in like the us and whatever but obviously the plug is you know specified to the uk and it also has a plate for you to keep it while it's hot which i think is really smart the small one also has a plate as well and so that it doesn't burn surface and that's what it looks like it has the buttons and it has like you know settings that you can put it at put it at when you're ready to use it so i really like it i'm actually impressed with the quality and it works really well if i'm making a t-shirt really the surface area that i require is not usually larger than 10 by 10 and it heats up pretty fast guys trust me now let's open the e transfer vinyl pack this kind of this sample of htv i like it because it has instructions on the back and it also comes in a folder i think that's really durable because one of the problems that i have is because i have so many brands of htv i don't know which which brand what heat setting to use on which brand but this one has all the heat settings on the back and it also has like the um recommended cut settings heat settings and whether you should peel hot or cold i find that very helpful because again some vinyls will be peel hot some of them will be peel cold so i like that's very you know like it's like written right there what i also love is i love how many like designs that are there i love the galaxy theme i love the burst of colors and i think that this is going to be fantastic for the baby boy 
content that I'm making his onesie. I also like the fact that they sent me some like a couple of you know glitter vinyls as well. I really like glitter HDV. I feel like it's really trendy and their glitter HDV is actually very shiny. I don't know if you guys can see it. I like the fact that it has so many colors. So I'm thinking maybe we'll use the green one. However, I later changed my mind and brought out the blue. So to cut it out, you can use any of your die cutting machines. I'm gonna be using my silhouette cameo today and I've got the onesies here. I'm gonna take out two onesies because I'm gonna be doing one with the galaxy themed vinyl and also one with the glitter hdv again you want to have your heat press you want to have your cutter you can use a scissors if you don't have a cutter then you want to have a t-shirt guide so this t-shirt guide has like infant toddler youth and adult i need the infants because i am making a onesie for baby and lastly you want to have your heat transfer vinyl again this heat transfer vinyls are from hdv round and you can purchase links will be in the description box so go ahead and cut out the um hdv to the required size and I don't know how much you guys know, but if you're making things for babies, you know, they have like really small required size. So for this one, I'm going with a size of about five by five inches. However, after cutting out the um, length, there was really no need to cut it. So I, as you can see, I started to cut it and I just stopped. So go ahead and cut out your um, vinyl so that they're in the appropriate size. Again, five by five or, you know, five by whatever you really want to cut it off, cut it to rather. And then after cutting out the vinyl, you want to go ahead and place it on the cutting mat. Now, one important thing, when you're placing vinyl on your cutting mat, you want to make sure that the right side is facing the mat. So the right side is on the sticky side of the mat or the glossy side is on the sticky side of the mat. So essentially you place it face down, you load your um, die cutting machine and then go ahead to your computer and send your design. So this is the design being sent and as you can see, it's doing its own magic, it's cutting the vinyl. After cutting both vinyls, this is what it looks like. So the next thing to do is to, you know, take it out of the ma machine, eject it, and then we're gonna start a process called weeding. So weeding is a process of taking out the negatives. And I'm telling you guys, when you have, when you don't have great heat transfer vinyl, weeding can be the most frustrating process. However, I was pleasantly surprised when I was weeding these vinyls, especially the glitter one, because glitter weeding can be so hard, but this one, the glitter was just weeding like butter. It literally was just coming off so smooth and as you can see for the galaxy one as well it was so easy to weed literally just pulled it off and it was just coming out but the glitter one like i said it surprised me the most it came out so smooth literally didn't take me time and another trick is that when i'm weeding i like to have like my lens roller by the side and i just put all the negatives or all the parts that you don't need on the lens roller in a couple of minutes i was done weeding both of them it must have taken a bit longer because it was really a small decal so the decal size was about five by five so that's why it probably took longer so you know it's really tiny because it's for a baby otherwise again like i said the weeding of both of them were like butter but i was pleasantly surprised by the weeding of the glitter one heat up your heat press plug it in heat it up and once you turn it on what you notice is that it starts to heat up automatically to the set temperature so to set the temperature you want to click on the temperature button in and then you want to set it to desi desired temperature and then you want to also set your timer so i set the timer to 10 and like i said all these instructions can be found in the book it's really easy to operate and then when you're ready to use it and once it hits up it will let you know and then you just press the arrow button when you're ready to use it and guess what guys once the timer once it's like time or once the timer time time elapses it's going to go off with a sound beep 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 notifying you that the time is set so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the one c and we're going to preheat it just to make sure that it's ready it's not wrinkled and it's ready to take you know the vinyl so after you do you preheat it i usually do five to ten seconds for the preheating and as you can see i put like a protecting sheet just to make sure that it doesn't get too hot and burn the vinyl i decided to use a small ironing board so that you can see what i'm doing clearly so the first thing you want to do is you want to place the t-shirt guide around the neck and after doing that you want to take the decal it's important at this point that you you fold the decal into two and this helps you to find the center point of the decal so after folding decal into do into two place it around where the t-shirt guide ends and then go ahead and heat it up i recommend doing 10 seconds at first after you obviously you want to put a protective sheet on it teflon sheet so 10 seconds and then as you can see it counts down and then after 10 seconds check it out if you need again 
do another 10 seconds and obviously you can apply pressure with your hand with one hand or you can apply pressure with two hands on either side it will tell you how much pressure has been applied as well it's such a great machine right because it literally tells you all these things so again do that and leave it to cool because this is actually a cool pill like i said it did say that on the pack that's how i know it now let's hit the second one while that is cool enough so again you want to preheat that to remove any wrinkles on the body and then you want to go ahead and do the same thing get your t-shirt guide find the center of the decal align the decal on where it should be and then go ahead and hit it for 10 seconds using the htv run hit press after heating up for 10 seconds if you find that it's not enough you can do another 10 seconds and apply a bit more pressure like i said you just need to check that all the edges are properly done and again if you want to do it lightly just make sure that it doesn't burn the htv so by now we go back to the first one and as you can see it literally just peels like butter because it's like it's been allowed to cool and like i said it's a cool pill so i can seal it in one more time by doing another last 10 seconds but again as you can see i put the teflon sheet to protect it from heat as well at this point i'm really happy Happy with the result it was sticking out of the side so i went ahead to do it properly that's because i didn't have enough pressure there so i went ahead to make sure that it was fine and at this point i was really happy with the results repeat the same thing for the blue one peel it out and then go ahead and you know seal it with your heat press again use your teflon sheet to make sure that that's in position and guys that's really it that's how you use the um, hcv run heat press i really recommend it i'm so happy that i have it and i'm going to do a couple more projector tutorials to show you guys how i use it the different ways i'm going to use it for a t-shirt and you guys will see how handy it is because it's such a large plate all right guys thank you so much for coming for watching this video we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it was worth your while if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe and again if you would like to purchase any of these items so whether it's the vinyl the glitter vinyl or the galaxy themed one check out the links that i have in the description box thank you and i'll see you guys soon